All right, here they are. I hit them with the heat gun for, I used a Genesis heat gun so I had a lower temperature. I did it about two minutes. And then, now they're just cooling, just a little bits. And now they're just cooling. So as soon as they're cool, I'm gonna stick them up into her mouth area and then we'll start sculpting the rest of the face. Here's the first try, but this is gonna kinda make her look like she's a hillbilly. Some of the problem is that I need some more support under the teeth, so I'm gonna fill in this area with some clay first. These teeth are kind of big for her, but I think it's going to be cute. Apparently she's going to be a pretty whimsical one. But that's what she wants to be. Alright, I'm going to smooth this up into her nose area and then give her a nose. And I'll show you the progress. Alright, so that's going to be good enough for now. And then I've just made a nose shape that I want to put on her. I'll do some refining and get it pushed into place and then show you what I've got. All right, so now I've just got the nose kind of more in shape. This is where it just gets fun, because she's just a gnarly old witch, and you can do whatever you want. And you can do whatever you'd like. And here's how you go around the nose. smoothing all this out and I think I'm just going to actually just gonna put it in like that. Even using the other side of the tool is going to be helpful here. There. Just using the 3-in-1 tool to push up and round that nostril. Repeat with the other one. I'm just going to spend a lot of time just kind of adding little details and character here. I think I'm going to give her some bigger cheeks and then give the eyes more of an expression. Right now she's just too happy. Too happy. So now I'm just adding a little snake of clay over the eye for an eyelid. That way I'll be able to shape it better and give her a little bit more expression. This eye is just rather surprised. I'll decide. I want this one to be. And then I'm going to also add a ball of clay right here to kind of build up her cheek just a little bit more so it's a stronger smile. That's how she's coming along. Just have fun with it. Here's why I've added some extra balls of clay to kind of make the cheeks a little bit more full. And we got the, eye, the eyelids in there to give her more expression. I'm just going to blend this in and then start detailing it. So here's how she's coming. And at this point I'm just putting in larger shapes and then I'll go back and detail them more. But just have fun. You really can't go wrong with a witch. I need to give her a little bit of a chin. I'll add, be adding some clay here and then kind of shape her head a little bit here. Maybe push up the eyebrows a little bit. Pinch your nose, let it hook down. They're just super fun dolls. So I've added some clay along the side here and then added some for the chin. This is what it looks like before I blend it in. And then I'll be pushing up on the chin and kind of just making a cute little witchy chin shape here. And then the rest down here will be neck shape. Just adding more worms of clay as I need. I want her to have a little bit more of a brow there. And then you can see down here I just do the basic shapes first and then later I go through and kind of just cut in a little bit of the wrinkles and such to 
give it more character. So here's how she is. I'm going to take a break now from sculpting. We'll do her ears later, but this is how she's coming along. Pretty cute. These are such fun dolls to make.